Welcome to the Vintage Coach Convertible Clutch Handbag Tour. The style number for this bag is 9635, and I believe this one is from the 80s, but I'm not 100% sure, but based on the format of the Creed, that's what I would estimate. So I'll go ahead and give you a 360 view now. Here is the top view of the bag. Or the front view, here's the top, here's the back, and then here's what the bottom looks like. It's got this kind of interesting shape here on the sides. And I'll show you the other side real fast so you can see the overall condition. So this bag actually needed a little bit of special work that I hadn't done before. It had, um, when we got it, it was in kind of not the best condition. Um, it had some tearing in the corners here um, so I had to fill those in with um, a product called leather concrete um, it's got a little bit here as well and then in one of the corners I think it's on the other side near the top where is it oh maybe it was on the other side yeah it looks like it's right here there was also some like mild tearing so I use this product to fill in um, kind of like the space where the tears were and then it kind of holds it in place. So as you can see right here, it's pretty well sealed. Um, and then since the bag was pretty well faded, the color, and then also this is a little lighter now from the leather concrete, um, we use this cream, um, like a leather cream product that um, just deepens the black color and it doesn't wipe off like shoe polish would of course I would never use shoe polish on a handbag um, but yeah see as you can see I'm gonna rub it and nothing's coming off um, but we just did that so that when we went over these spots here where the um, tears were that the black color would be even um, so we did it to the whole bag and um, as you can see, it's a little bit more of a matte color, I guess, or a little darker black too than a traditional, than the color traditionally would be. But um, I think it just like looks a little bit more even that way instead of having kind of two different colors of black if we had just used it on the corner. So um, that's the majority of the work then that's been done. Obviously, I conditioned it as well. I'll go ahead and show you the straps too. Um, it's got lobster claw clasps, and these are brass, of course, and the turn locks are brass. Um, these are a little bit tarnished and worn, but because of the age of the bag, I don't like to polish um, the hardware on the older bags. I just leave it. I think it looks a little bit better um, to just leave it in its original state. So there is the strap. This one's a shoulder strap, and then obviously you can carry it as a clutch as well as the name suggests. So, there's um, a good view of the bag. I'll go ahead and show you the inside now. Here's the inside of the bag. You can see the stitching down there on the sides. Um, and gives it this shape down here. And it's got a slip pocket in the front, which is pretty nice, convenient. And then the creed is in there. It's kind of hard to make out, but it says it's made in the U.S. And then it's got this zip pocket here. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed, but I'll show you what the pocket looks like inside. It's pretty clean. But yeah, that's about it for this bag. Um, it's pretty versatile, and obviously the black color goes with everything, which is really nice. Oops. Um, and like I mentioned, we did use that... Um, color enhancing or um, the leather cream product. It's called U-Rad. I believe it's made in Italy and seemed like it was a nice product. I wouldn't necessarily use something like that on any, um, just any old bag. Um, but this one, I kind of felt like it was a last, last ditch effort to try to make this one usable again since it did have those tears um, on the seams here. So. That's kind of what we did to try to make it um, usable again, so hopefully it'll get some use at some point in the future. So I'll show you the strap one more time. So it's a shoulder strap, not super long like the usual crossbodies. 
So um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or if you're watching on Instagram, just feel free to drop a comment. And um, if you're interested in this particular bag for Instagram, our link is in the bio to our Etsy shop. And on YouTube, um, it'll be in the comment section below or the um, drop down menu below. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Take care.